Hello friends, this is Ali from Product Analytics Academy, and today I'm going to show you how to answer a very common question from Mixpanel users, and that is, how do I measure the average session length for my users? For this video, we're going to assume that you have already defined your sessions in Mixpanel. If you aren't sure, ask the administrator of your Mixpanel project if and how they've defined sessions. If you're the administrator, or if the administrator has not set up sessions, then check out the link in the video description. It's to another one of my videos explaining different ways that you can define sessions in Mixpanel. For this example, we're going to use the media demo data set that comes with Mixpanel, which is a sample data for a fictional video platform much like YouTube. You access it by clicking on your project name in the top right, going to sample data sets, and then choosing the media option. Now to how we actually measure the average session length. You click on the reports button and you select insights. This gives you a fresh brand new insights report. Mixpanel comes with a pair of virtual events called session start and session end. We call these virtual events because they can be customized to trigger at different times. That's the thing that we dig into in our video about how to define sessions. Based on how you define sessions in your project, these events are gonna get triggered at different times. The session end event comes with a bunch of default properties, one of which is called session duration. As the name suggests, it measures the duration of each session in seconds. So when you add session end by itself to the insights report, it just shows you how many sessions have occurred over time. Now you want to go from this to the actual duration of those sessions. You click on count total right underneath the session end. You hover to aggregate properties and you select average. Then it prompts you to select the property that you want to average and we pick session duration. And there we go. This shows you your average session duration in seconds over time. Just like any other insights report, you can take this and you can break it down by different values. For example, if you want to see which browser has the highest average session length, you go to breakdown and you select browser. Get this chart. It's a little messy, so I'm going to change it to a bar chart. This tells us that for our sample data set, for our fictional product, Chrome is the best performing browser. This not set likely belongs to apps which don't have a browser by default. You can also Take this information and change it from second to minutes by using the formulas approach here. As soon as you click on formulas, you see this A letter appear next to session end. So you can reference that by saying A divided by 60, since there's 60 seconds in every minute, apply, and now you get the average session length in minutes instead of seconds. You can do the same thing with hours, days, whatever you want. So there you go. That's how you measure the length of an average session in Mixpanel. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about product analytics, including, you know, what are good KPIs to actually measure besides just average session length, then check out the link in the description of this video to a free course that teaches you how to set success metrics and KPIs for your product, which you can then use Mixpanel to measure and monitor.